So fasting, sometimes people say, oh, you don't fast, you may hurt your body. Uh, food is good. The appetite is good. Uh, You've got to take care of your body. Uh, do, you may hurt yourself. Uh, we, all we have to do is kind of take a look at we Americans with all of our pot bellies. We aren't hurting ourselves. You know, we, we, need, we need to fast, not only spiritually, but also physically. So the, the notion of, 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 uh, of fasting, if, if the early disciples did it, then certainly it's okay for you and I to do it. And, and then we can look also to our Lord Jesus himself. Uh, look back here on, uh, in the uh, Gospel of Luke that uh, uh, we see that, that uh, in the fourth chapter it says, Jesus was full of the Spirit, and with that Spirit he was led into the desert where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil, and for 40 days he fasted, and at the end of those 40 days he was hungry, I guess so. Uh, we sometimes wonder, could you actually go without food for 40 days? And uh, man would say it, it was a long time. 40, day, 40 days in the scriptural sense meant it was a full time. You, you were going the full length uh, without, without dying, I guess. And he probably had to have some water to, to, to survive. But anyway, Jesus fasted. Why did he fast? In order to have, so he was being tempted by the devil. They said that the, uh, for 40 days, he was tempted by the devil. Are you tempted by the devil? Am I tempted by the devil? Yes. And how did Jesus ward off? He, he prayed and he fasted. We put the body under discipline. We're, we're going to live according to the spirit, not the body. And the devil wants us to say, follow the body, worship the body, give the body whatever it wants, uh, take the easy route, enjoy your life, eat all, uh, eat all you can, do all you can, whatever. The notion of, of wanting to live for the flesh is what the devil wants us to do. Yep. And Paul says, he who lives according to the flesh will die according to the flesh, and he who lives according to the spirit will live forevermore. So we, we, the, that, the notion of fasting, of giving up uh, a food, uh, today a lot of Christians may, maybe will give up um, a, uh, one meal or maybe just have one meal a day. Uh, that, 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 that's, that's a wonderful thing. Um, and there's all those things we can give up, uh, thing, maybe a TV set. We want to, we want to, the calisthenics of our soul. We want to exercise our spirit. And so for, well, I, I like this, t this is my favorite TV show. I'm not going to watch it. Well, why, why do you want to do that for? To strengthen my spirit. Praise God. That I am in control of my life. I don't follow simply the wishes and the wills of, of, of uh, worldly appetites, whether it be entertainment, whether it be, whether it be food or clothing, whatever. I am living according to the law of God. I live in communion, my soul in communion with, with the Lord, and I want to do the Lord's will, not just what the body wants. So after the, I uh, say, Jesus for 40 days, 40 days, he was fasting. And then when, the, uh, at the end of those 40 days, um, he, uh, uh, then the devil had tempted him. And said, so when the devil had finished all his tempting, he left Jesus. And listen to these last words. He left Jesus until an opportune time. The devil trying to find some other time to, to slip into the mind and the heart and the life of Jesus Christ, Son of God. He's a human being. And he wanted to tempt Jesus to give up being the Son of God. Give up following the, follow, the Father. B build your own kingdom here on earth. He, the, the, the devil was out to tempt our Lord Jesus himself. He was human just like you and me. He was tempted by the devil just like you and me. The devil wanted Jesus Christ, the Son of God, Savior of the world, to go to hell. So it is for you and me. Another interesting parallel to this whole thing is way back in, uh, in, the, in the Old Testament, <clears throat> we have the same scenario in the, in the book of Deuteronomy uh, where we have, a, uh, you know, we know Moses went up on a mountain and he was up there for, for about 40 days and 40 nights. He was up there a long time and during that period of time, God gave to Moses the, the Ten Commandments. And uh, when he came down from, the, from receiving the Ten Commandments, uh, he came down, and what did he find? He, find? he found the people of God 
who had left God. The people of God who were worshiping an idol. The people of God who turned their back on their God. Moses was gone for several days. Well, he's not coming back. We got to find ourselves another God. And what did Moses do? He was so furious. He was so upset. It was so distressful to see these people who had witnessed all the, the, the Red Sea rolling back, who had witnessed all the, the uh, marvelous miracles of being liberated out of Egypt, all the marvelous uh, miracles of God feeding them the manna, uh, water coming from the rock, all these marvelous uh, signs of God feeding them quail from, uh, you know, from, from the sky to eat. God had just endowed them with all kinds of miracles, and in spite of all that, they still made a golden calf. So Moses was so upset, so distraught, he broke the Ten Commandments that God had given him. 